What's going on everyone? Welcome to my channel. In this video, I wanna educate you all about how to get to Vava Utanga for the whale swim season. And that season runs mid-July through to early November. I'm gonna tell you how to get there from the United States, from Canada, Europe, and from Asia. And if you're watching this video and you have not booked your whale swim tour yet, please check out humpbackswims.com right there. That is my tour company. I think I put on really awesome tours. You can check the reviews on the website. People have a great time out there with me. Um, I'm there most of the season personally, so make sure you have a good time. And if you're looking at other destinations like French Polynesia or other places in the world, I would really stress the intimacy that Tonga provides. We only allowed four people in the water at a time with a guide. There are so many different places in the world where you can get in the water and have 15, 20 people, seriously, with a mom and a calf humpback whale. And I think that's pretty disrespectful. And I think that's what makes Tonga a really, really great place to go and do this activity. So if it's been your dream to swim with humpback whales, look no further. Anyways, let's get into the video. Let's talk about how to get to the Vavau Tonga. Let's first start off with getting there from the United States and from Canada. All right, so your first option is going to be Fiji Airways. And Fiji Airways, no matter what route you look at, is gonna be your fastest and cheapest route to get to the Vavau Tonga from the United States and from Canada. And that is because they offer direct flights from the United States and from uh, Canada, from Vancouver specifically, which is a new route from Vancouver, British Columbia, right over to Fiji. And so that direct flight really cuts down time as Fiji is closer to the United States or to Canada than other routes such as Sydney, Australia, or from Auckland, New Zealand, okay? If you go to Auckland or Australia, you're flying further away from Tonga than you need to. So our first option is Fiji Airways. So the first thing to note, no matter what coast you live on in the United States or in Canada, is getting yourself over to FijiAirways.com. On FijiAirways.com, you might be able to sync together your flights from wherever you are in whatever city you are, from let's say JFK over to LAX or San Francisco, and then from there onwards to Fiji and then to Vavau. More often than not, people who live on the East Coast or in the middle of, uh, of the country, whether you're in the United States or Canada, you will probably have to take two flights, okay? So you might have to buy one ticket, your first ticket from the East Coast or from Dallas, whatever, over to LA or San Francisco, and then fly from FijiAirways.com over to Fiji and then onwards to Vavau. So that is the best way, that is the quickest way. There are other airlines that can take you to Fiji, so you could also look at that buying option number one, maybe you wanna fly Dallas direct to Fiji and then take a few days in Fiji and then move over to your flight over to Vavau. So it really depends on how you wanna do your trip. The, the thing I wanna to stress to you the most is to not do a one week trip in Fiji before your Vavau Tonga, your whale swim trip. And I urge you to think about this because Tonga is very undeveloped, okay? There's no Starbucks, there's no Burger Kings, there's no five star beaches, there's really nowhere for you to go get a massage or a mani-pedi. It is raw and it is undeveloped. What you're going to Tonga for is to get a five-star humpback whale swim. That is why people come to Tonga. It is the best place in the world to do so. So if you wanna do a Fiji extension, maybe you do wanna go scuba diving or do some time in Fiji, I highly encourage you to do your Fiji trip after your Tonga trip, okay? So I just put that out there. You've listened to me, you know about that, okay? So let's get back on how you're gonna to get to Vavau Tonga. So you can do these direct routes from different cities, Dallas, um, I'm sure there's other uh, cities in the United States that do it from Canada and Vancouver, British Columbia is probably gonna be your best way with FijiAirways.com. So you wanna make your way over to Fiji. You wanna make sure you're buying your flight on the way over there if you're not doing an extension in Fiji looking two days beforehand. So if you're looking at humpbackswims.com, you go over there, you see you're doing a five-day trip over seven nights. All of those trips start on a Saturday and they end on a Saturday. But you're gonna cross the international date line when you fly over to Tonga. So for instance, right now it's March 14th, 2023. I'm here live in Vancouver, British Columbia. It is actually March 15th in Tonga. So we're gonna cross the international date line when we fly over to Tonga. So when you do your search on FijiAirways.com, which again, I think is the best way, cheapest way, quickest way, you're gonna look on the Thursday before. So if you look at the website here, you can see this tour starts on August 12th. That means when I go to FijiAirways.com, I'm gonna search leaving LA or San Francisco two days beforehand on August 10th. 
okay? So if you're looking at an eight swim day tour over 10 or 11 nights, a lot of those tours also start on a Saturday, but there are also some tours that start on a Wednesday. So again, if your tour starts on a Saturday, you would look leaving the Thursday before your start date. If your tour starts on a Wednesday, you're gonna look leaving LAX or San Francisco on the Monday, okay? So that is the quickest, easiest way to get to, to Tonga, to get to Vava'u from the United States or Canada. Now, you might be a One World person, you might be a Star Alliance person. Me, myself, I'm a Premier 1K flyer on Star Alliance. So I wanna be able to use my points and upgrade my seat so I can have a flat seat on the way over. I don't wanna fly or pay in a hell of a lot of money to have a flat seat with Fiji Airways. So how I do it and a different way to do it is a lot longer and it is more costly. It could be anywhere between 500 to 1,000 US dollars more to buy your economy ticket and get to Vava'u this way, but it's more comfortable, okay? So you can fly from, I don't know, JFK, Houston, San Francisco, LA, maybe San Diego. You can fly directly over to Auckland, okay? And those flights are normally, I mean, from San Francisco, it's about 12, between 12 and 14 hours, depending again on your headwinds. And so I personally fly to Auckland from San Francisco direct on United. I then get to the Auckland airport, I exit the airport, I enter the country, and I do one or two days acclimation. I have a shower, I have some sleep, I have some good food, and I get ready to move on to Vavat Utaga. So once I'm done in Auckland, I then take Fiji Air over to Fiji, and I overnight in Fiji, and there's tons of flights from Auckland to Fiji throughout the day, especially with Fiji Airways, and I would then find an airport hotel in Fiji, crash there for the night, and get up in the morning for the Vavatu flight, which is at eight in the morning, which is why if you don't wanna like do a red eye, is the best way to go ahead and get yourself over to Vava'u from Fiji. Now, the other way to go is to get yourself over to Tonga Tapu. So the mainland of Tonga is called Tonga Tapu. It's also called Nukalofa, okay? And so there's tons of flights to Nukalofa from Auckland, from Fiji, and from Sydney. So Sydney has a flight on Qantas. There's tons of flights on Air New Zealand from Auckland to Nukalofa. And then there's even flights from Fiji, from Natty, to uh, Nukalofa. But the mainland of Tonga, Nukalofa, again, also called Tonga Tapu, is not where the best whale swims are. The best whale swims are in Vavatu Tonga, which is where we run our trips. So you would then head over from Auckland, Sydney, or Fiji, over to Nukalofa. You would more than likely have to overnight there. It depends on the flights for Lulu Thai. And Lulu Thai doesn't put out their flight schedule ahead of time right now. So you would probably have to organize an uh, overnight in Nukalofa as well. And the best hotel to book when you're staying in Nukalofa, in my opinion, is the Dateline Tanoa. I love that hotel. I personally stay there every time I go to Nukalofa. It's a great hotel. They have great uh, service, great rooms, clean rooms, more, um, more first world friendly, and uh, they take great care of you. So that is the other option if you're flying uh, directly to Nukalofa. Once you're in Nukalofa, there's no Fiji Airways that's gonna get you over to Vava'u. So you would have to take the local carrier, Lulu Thai Airlines. And at the time of filming this, they still do not have a website. But if you wanna go this route, just email me info at humpbackswims.com and I will tell you the best way to book your domestic air flight. They are set to have their online website ready in the next two to three weeks, which might mean three to six weeks. So depending on when you're viewing this video, if you see that their website is not ready uh, just yet, go ahead, email info at humpbackswims.com and I will, I will direct you to the right people to talk to to book your domestic flight. There's one more thing I need to say before we move on to a different country. If you're flying from Canada or the United States on Air New Zealand, they have something really fantastic and it's called Sky Couch. Before United introduced their direct route um, from Auckland to San Francisco, I always flew this way home. And Sky Couch is amazing. Basically what you do is you can buy one or two seats in a row and then you can upgrade that specific row to a Sky Couch. And so if you're with your partner and you upgrade, you both can lie down in Sky Couch. They've engineered, I think, 12 or more rows on specific planes to become Sky Couches. And they're pretty wide and they're pretty awesome. Most flights out of 
Auckland on Air New Zealand leave at night. So it's nice to get onto the plane, have your dinner and then fall asleep and wake up in the United States. Even if you're a single person like myself, I can go ahead and buy a single seat on Air New Zealand and I can upgrade that seat to a sky couch and it is a heck of a lot cheaper than buying a business seat. I would say round trip, you're looking at maybe $4,000 round trip, lying down from the United States all, all the way over to Auckland. A business seat will easily be over $10,000 US round trip. And you gotta think about this, Air New Zealand flies direct from very far places. Like if you're coming from JFK, Air New Zealand has a jet that flies from JFK all the way over to Auckland. So if you don't wanna spend X amount of thousands of dollars to get a flat seat in business, you can literally pay like one fourth of the cost and get a sky couch. So you gotta go over to Air New Zealand, check out what they have. They do have some flights that are long distance flights that don't have sky couch. So if you're looking at these routes, make sure that they have a sky couch. When you check out on Air New Zealand, you'll see the option to buy a sky couch. So I think that's it. I think I said a lot of information right now. So let's go and review. Number one is getting to Vavat Utonga is best done through FijiAirways.com. You're gonna search from LAX or San Francisco all the way over to Vavau as your ending airport search. That again is the cheapest and quickest way. If you're flying on One World or Star Alliance, you can fly those companies over to Auckland, which is the second best option, and then fly from Auckland over to Fiji, Fiji to Vavau. That involves an overnight. If you don't wanna do that Fiji overnight, you're gonna then fly from Auckland over to Tongatapu, TBU, the main airport, and you're more than likely gonna to have to overnight there, okay? Anyway, I think I mumbled a lot there on how to get to Tonga from the United States or Canada. If I'm mumbling and you don't understand what I'm saying, you need some help, hit me up, info at humpbackswims.com. My team and I are there waiting to help you out and figure out the best way for you to get to Tonga. We're super happy to help you figure it out. Let's move on on how to get to Vavau Tonga from Europe, okay? There are two options when you're coming from Europe. That could be UK, Germany, France, Sweden, I don't know. So no matter what way you decide to come to Tonga through Europe, you're more than likely gonna have to buy two flights. So the first option would be UK, Germany, Italy, wherever you are in Europe, and getting yourself a direct flight over to LA. That is ticket number one. That would be more than likely a return ticket based on your travel plans. You would then head into LA. You might wanna overnight in LA, that's a long flight. You might not, you might say, hey, I don't care, let's go on, let's move over to Fiji. So you would do option number one, your direct ticket to LA, it might be a return ticket. And then you're gonna pick up your bags, you're gonna go and check in for your Fiji air flight, and you would do Fiji over to Vavau Tonga as your ticket number two. Again, that ticket would be a return ticket. The next way would be to go through Singapore. If you don't wanna go through the US, you have visa issues, it's, it's for some reason, you just it's just not working out for you, you can check going through Singapore. So you could fly from Europe, to Singapore, there's a lot of direct flights to look at. Once you're in Singapore, you can get a direct flight from Singapore over to Fiji and then Fiji to Vavau. So those are the two best options. I'm sure there's more options, but those are the definite two best options on how to get yourself over to Tonga from Europe. Let's move over to India because there's a lot of people coming to Tonga from India these days. And the best way to get to Tonga from India is to go from India to Singapore. Once you're in Singapore, hop onto that Singapore Fiji flight and then over to Vavau. So the next area we're gonna think about is getting to Vavau Tonga from Asia. The best way if you're coming from Thailand, Indonesia, Malaysia, anywhere in Asia is gonna be going through Singapore, just like India. You're gonna wanna go from wherever you are to Singapore, hop on the Singapore flight direct to Fiji, hang out in Fiji, go from Fiji to Vavau. That's gonna be the quickest way and probably the cheapest way. If that's not working out for you or you have other plans, go ahead, fly from Singapore to Auckland. Auckland to Tonga, that might be the best route for you overnight in Tonga, and then take Lulu Thai Airlines from Tonga, the mainland of Tonga, over to Vavau with Lulu Thai Airlines. All right, last but not least is Australia. If you're coming to Vavau Tonga from Australia, there are numerous ways to do so. 
The first way, and I think is the cheapest and quickest way, is going to get is you got to get yourself over to Melbourne. Melbourne has a direct flight um, from Melbourne to Fiji with Fiji Air, and then you would do that over to Vavau. So you would probably want to search Melbourne with your final search being Vavau Airport, and that again will be your quickest and cheapest way. You can also go from Sydney. There's a direct flight with Qantas. Um, I'm not sure what the schedule is in uh, whale season in 2023, but you can go ahead and take a look at that. So you could fly from Sydney. Sydney over to Tonga direct. You could take one or two nights there to overnight, and then you could book directly with Lulu Thai Airlines over to Vavau. So it's not too hard. Anyway, I'm done this video. It is so much longer than I thought it would be, but I just wanted to educate you guys about all the things I know in the last, you know, 10 years of booking people to Tonga all the different little secrets that I've accumulated in my head. So again, if you have any issues, please email us info at humpbackswims.com. We want to help you get to Tonga. We want to make it as easy as possible. And we're really good at problem solving or finding different routes and helping you out. So um, that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.